hello beautiful falls it's again ashish from ashwee creations and welcome back guys so first of all all we're gonna do is select the photo and today we are going to create a amazing photo manipulation of the couple photos just like john carroll photography if you don't know then you can just search on instagram he is really an amazing photography artist now just go to the property and select the photo or you can just cut out the photo with the help of remove background or you can use quick selection tool or pen tool or whatever you want you can totally use it i'm using this technique to remove the background to or to select the uh, photo just go right click on it and apply the image so here is the background now just go to the file click on open and just browse the background which we want to add it to the photo so let me just try uh, take this background I'll put the link of the background as well as the preset of the John Carroll inspired preset which I present which I'm gonna be using in this photo I'll put the link in the description so you can just download it for free now just press ctrl D and just end uh, no, transform or just place the background in such a way that whatever the position of the background should look more perfect and amazing this is totally up to you guys now here the next thing we are gonna be doing is just right click on it and select the copy and just go to the filter select the blur and select the radial blur and just make sure to make the blur to around 20 percent and here select the zoom and the good quality and just hit ok so as you can see this will actually you know make an amazing blur effect which is very much trending and he uses this kind of effect now just go to the original layer now here select the blur and select the box blur and here we're gonna be just making a box blur to around 20 percent would be pretty perfect or 15 and here add a layer mask on this because we want to delete the area that is a land region so select the brush tool make sure the black color is on the foreground select the soft round brush just similar uh, areas on the background where you wanna don't want that radial blur so that we get the perfect the blur effect so it is only affected on the sky because we just want it on the sky that's it right now the next thing we are going to be doing is go to the filter select open and here are the books png which are we are going to be using and you can just play select manually one or two books and one by one you can just select it and just we're gonna be placing here and there randomly on the image so this is totally up to you guys i'll put this book png also in the description and you can just make a sum of the pngs to blur to make it look more realistic and kind of you know dramatic so this is how you have to place now here we're gonna be adding a rose petals to the photo just drag and drop over here and some of the rose petals we are gonna be you know blurring so you can add a Gaussian blur to that petals and some of the v petals we are gonna be keeping as it is so just press ctrl j duplicate it and just reduce some of the saturation of that by pressing ctrl u and here you can use the eraser tool to delete it some of the unwanted uh, petals which you don't want from the face and also from the body region you can just remove it with the help of eraser it is very simple now just use uh, eraser to delete it and here we're gonna just make a duplicate of the image and we're gonna make a duplicate make the petal um, you know duplicate the petals and we are gonna be you know making it blur so we are gonna be doing the gaussian blur because as you can see that some of the petals should look kind of towards the camera so some of the petals need to be blurred and some of the them will be as it is so just make a gaussian blur to around 24 and just add a layer mask and we will gonna just erase it the area where we don't want that blur effect or remove the petals which we don't want to be blurred and just press control from the keyboard on this layer mask and go to the original layer and we're gonna be erasing that from that area that is the Gaussian blur so as you can see here are some of the petals which are non blur and some of are of you know blur with Gaussian blur so this one is looking so cool and creative and now the next thing we are gonna be doing is this we will adjust some more and I will just keep this select this area press ctrl T and let's move it a little bit just decrease the size and we're gonna be placing over here now here it is important to blur the edges of the model or the cutout because to make it look more realistic and it should not look like you know you have cut out the subject so in order to merge it with the background it is very important to blur the edges of the models 
to be, which you have made a cut out so it is very important whenever you are doing the changing the background it is important to do this process of blurring the edges to make it look more realistic now just merge all the layer right click on it and select merge layer select the crop tool and hit again once again crop go to the filter select the camera filter and here is the preset file that is a john carroll inspired preset just go to that and we're gonna apply this preset directly to the photo so it will turn into an amazing here is the preset that is john carroll inspired i'll put the preset of this link in the description so you can just download it from the website go to the edit and we're gonna still make some more corrections of the basic high by reducing the highlights decreasing some of the shadows increasing the whiteness so this is totally up to you whatever you want to make you can totally play with this slider and make a little bit of adjustments from the photo to the photograph and add a little bit of contrast and everything is almost done i guess add a little bit of more clarity to the photo to get more you know enhanced finally we are gonna be going to the effects and let's go to the curves and little bit uh, make a little bit of down portion because we don't want too much of matte effect on the photograph so just add a little bit of matte effect would be pretty perfect and give a one point over here just it now we are now we will add some more vignette on the photo so just go to the effect panel just add a vignette to get more dark and moody kind of effect so whole attention is on the face of the models which is very pretty perfect so now this one is looking kind of cool and amazing so when you are done with all adjustment just hit ok so finally as you can see we have perfectly created amazing photo now we are gonna be again go to the filter select the camera filter and here we are gonna be increasing the texture as well as the clarity as you can see it will enhance the photo so finally you have to do this final touch process to make it look more amazing so finally we have done our process or uh, edited the photo just like to, uh, you know john carroll photograph you can see the before and after i hope you all have enjoyed this preset or video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos and presets like this for you guys for free and if you still not subscribe yet then do subscribe and visit my website www.ashwikreations.com to download all presets for free also follow me on instagram just type ashwikreations so guys see you in the next tutorial